The next point, point number four. I'm excited about point number four. Point number four is wireless packet delivery. Now, what does that mean? So wireless packet delivery, if you look at public speaking, if you look at the person up in front of the audience, using internet technology, the person has the data, they would be the source router, and then the person that is receiving the data would be the destination router. The packet of information or the communication packet is going from the source over to the destination and there are no wires between you and the audience. So therefore, it is a wireless packet delivery. Public speaking is a wireless packet delivery. And usually, it's just one room. And if it's only one room, you would say it's one collision domain. So public speaking is the sending of communication packets from the source router to the destination router in a one collision domain and a wireless environment. Therefore, let's first of all talk about the communication packet. The communication packet, we're going to divide into three components. The first component would be the data piece. The second component would be the voice piece. And the third component would be the video piece. So therefore, when you watch a professional actor in front of the cameras and in, in movies and plays, you see what they do is they take the data they take the voice, they take the video, and they integrate that, and then they, they send it across. But when you watch an IT presenter, all they have is one thing, and that is data. Data actually represents only 7% of the communication packet. Voice would represent 38% of the communication packet. And the video component would represent 55% of the communication packet. So therefore, 93% of the communication packet has nothing to do with the data. But when you watch an IT professional, 100% of the packet is data. So therefore, it's not a very good show. Now, when you are talking in front of audiences, you want to integrate the data, the voice, and the video into almost every single sentence you speak. And you'll look like a superstar. You'll look like a master presenter. People will say, "Woo! that person looks great. You're not just an unconscious data dumper. You are a professional able to encapsulate your thought, able to project your energy across the space and make it a high definition experience for the audience that you combine the data, the voice, and the video. Let me show you what I mean. First of all, I will just do a sentence with data, which is the way 99% of IT professionals talk. They stand up in front. Good afternoon. I want to thank you very much for being here today. We have solutions that are on the left and we have solutions that are on the right. And the solutions on the right and the solutions on the left all go together to form a whole complete solution. Now that is a monotone, flat, boring, put you to sleep kind of delivery. Now we'll do the same data, but we're going to add a little voice to it. Good afternoon. Welcome. Today, we're going to be talking about solutions that are on the right. And we're going to talk about solutions that are on the left. And we're going to take the solutions that are on the right and we're going to take the solutions on the left. And they all come together to form one complete whole solution. And that, and that is what today's about. Now what I've done is I've taken the data and I've added a voice spin to it. Now we're going to take the same piece of data we're going to add the voice plus we're going to add the video to it, which is the way I'd recommend you deliver your communications. Good afternoon. We have solutions that are on the left and we have solutions that are on the right. And the solutions on the right and the solutions on the left all come together 
to form a whole complete solution. And that is what today's about. Now what I've done is I've taken the data, I've taken the voice, and I've taken the video, and I've combined it together to form a whole complete communication packet. And that is the direction that you want to be able to go, that points to what you want to be able to do in front of an audience. Just like a professional actor, it is your show. Either you look like a boring, dull, flat, IT, constipated kind of presenter, or you look like an excited, enthusiastic person who is able to take the information and package it in such a way that the audience goes, Woo! Wow! I like that person. Boy, I want to hear more of what that person has to say. And that's the goal of what we want to be able to do. Now, after you deliver your communication packet, you then pause. And then you go down into the private domain to your database of thought. So inside of you is your database of thought. Things you've accumulated over your life, things you've accumulated over your training, things you've accumulated over your experience. And you go down to your database of thought, you find the thought, you bring it back up into the public domain, you form the VPN connection, the layer one OSI model connection with a set of eyes, and then you send the next communication packet across the space. Therefore, you have one communication packet over here. You go down into your database. You bring up a thought, and then you lock on to another point in the room, and then you send the thought over. So therefore, what you have is that you have two communication packets. Now what happens is when you watch people in front of a room, what they have is the communication packets come very, very close together. They talk, 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 talk. There is no empty space between the communication packets. But when you watch a professional actor deliver the communication, what you'll notice is that there's an incredible amount of space between the communication packets in their delivery. But when you watch an IT professional, there is no space between their communication packets. And I imagine if there was space there, the typical IT professional would say, well, my, I could put more data in that space. So data, 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 data. No, we want to be able to create space. There was an actor called Ben Kingsley who won the Academy Award for his role in Gandhi. He was being interviewed and in the interview they asked him, could you give us some tips about how we can be a great actor like you? And Ben Kingsley said, as he paused, he said, what I do when I'm acting and delivering my, my lines is that I'm able to stand in the stillness and pause. 